A mayoral candidate Coleman Jung Jr. is speaking out against Detroit police and neighboring police departments. This after a, a search warrant was executed by Hazel Park Police looking for an attempted murder suspect. But is what he's claiming police policy or just political posturing? The now Detroit Simon Chowdhury is live on the corner of Curtis and Pinehurst with more on this big controversy. Simon, so what have you found out? Well, Coleman Young Jr. says he was passing by this area on the way to a campaign event when he saw a heavy police presence right here on this corner of Curtis and Pinehurst. He used the words police brutality and says authorities used excessive force when the Southeast Oakland SWAT team came to this house looking for an attempted murder suspect. Now, the mayoral candidate is calling out Detroit police saying they needed to be here. But we're learning from police that some of the things Young said in a press conference may have been inaccurate face down in the dirt as she passed out when they did that. This is police brutality of the worst kind. That's how Coleman Young Jr. described the way suburban police treated Mary Smith as they looked for her son, Michael Anthony Green, who was accused of attempted murder after Hazel Park police say he shot someone in the early morning hours of August 12th. Later that evening, Hazel Park police executed a search warrant at this home looking for him and the alleged weapon. Police tell us this was a high risk situation because the suspect has a violent criminal history. Therefore, they requested the Southeast Oakland SWAT team's assistance. So they were getting ready to go in here and do work on this family for somebody that who they were looking for wasn't even there. Police say that's incorrect. Green was in the home and arrested immediately. Family members were asked to come out and they were put in zip ties. Police say this is standard practice. SWAT officials say this was as smooth and as textbook as it gets, saying the family cooperated and that no excessive force was needed. Coleman Young was passing by on the way to a campaign event when he stopped and asked what happened during the incident. He says he was upset that Detroit police were not present. There was nobody from Detroit that was present. No police oversight whatsoever. And Detroit police officials say they do not need to be present when other police departments execute a search warrant, but they have to be notified, which they say they were. As for the claim that the suspect's mother was face down on the ground and passed out, police officials say that never happened. Again, they say they didn't use excessive force since everyone involved cooperated and that nobody notified the police on the scene saying if there was any sort of medical emergency happening. Now, we did reach out to Coleman Young Jr.'s campaign manager. We told them we wanted to ask more questions and have another interview to ask them about these uh, discrepancies and the campaign manager refused an interview and a comment. Carolyn. So bottom line, Saima, from Welcome you talking to, to neighbors there on the street, getting the take from the police department, is there a gray area here or is it pretty much clear down the middle the police were right or? Well, some of the pictures that the neighbors had sent us, you could see that the family members were sitting on the ground in the front lawn. This again happened during the daylight hours and uh, police officials tell me that they say there is no gray area because many neighbors had come out and witnessed and took out their cell phones, took pictures and took videos. So they said if there was some sort of police brutality situation, we all would have known about it by now. Absolutely. And Coleman Young Jr. not commenting any further. All right. Thank you so much for clearing that up for us. Uh, Saima.